Last episode, we highlighted some great hunts with some family and friends here in Alabama. This time on Southern Vanes, we're going to join Hood and his family as they go to West Texas on the late season rock hunt. Sort of some sad daddies. Sad daddy. Hunting and being in the outdoors has been a passion of mine my entire life. I've been blessed to have been raised in a family that has hunting and fishing deeply rooted in them. And I have a father who has always made it a point to take him and his children hunting every year. After countless years of my dad always taking us hunting and my grandpa tagging along for the memories, last year I wanted to gift my dad with a surprise hunt at my good buddy Stephen West's ranch who put me on an awesome deer the year before. So Justin had the idea to surprise our dad with a hunt this year in Texas and I thought this was a great idea because he had never really been able to hunt on any of our trips and I knew that it meant a lot to him. I, uh... I wanted to tell you that I'm not going to actually hunt I, I got a free hunt and I'm giving it to you. For me? Oh. <laughs> oh, cool. So after filling him in on the surprise, we got ready and set out for the first afternoon hunt. Texas is a target rich environment and unlike back home in Louisiana, it didn't take very long before we were starting to see a bunch of animals. It was very refreshing to, to actually make a hunt with Justin. We haven't had the opportunity to do that for a while, and it was really cool to actually have him film me this time. We had a good time. Having fun. One line, Jeff, over here. <laughs> so as the hunt continued, we seen a few nice bucks, but none that we could actually shoot. The anticipation was growing. We were seeing a lot of deer, and we had to verify whether they were deer that we could shoot for management purposes. Later that afternoon, after having a decent amount of activity throughout the day, one of the bucks that we were cleared to shoot finally showed up. Well, we finally got the green light, and I was a little anxious and a little nervous because I haven't shot at a deer in a long time. My boys always make the shots. So, lined it up, made a shot, and made a clean miss. The deer never moved. <laughs> I don't really know how he missed this deer, but apparently he borrowed the script that I had whenever I was hunting with Chase and Matthew from earlier in the season. So I told him to hurry up and reload and take another shot. So he was able to put a good shot on this deer the second time around and I couldn't wait to get out there to go filming with his deer. Well shooting this deer meant a lot to me because it was actually um, a, uh, a gift for my sons and my boys. Uh, so anyhow, it really meant a lot to me uh, that they would think enough to give this opportunity to me. So while Dad was hunting with Bubba, I was hunting with Steven, and I was able to get a good shot on the biggest deer of my life, and I could not wait to go find it. So they decided they wanted to let this buck lay a little while before trying to recover it, and it didn't take long to find a good blood trail and we found Austin's deer. Well, Austin, you eclipsed me. You got two little chicks a little bit like that. Oh, yeah. Well, we're completely ecstatic with Austin making the kill on the biggest deer of his life. And it really meant a lot to me to be able to kill the biggest deer of my life at the same evening and have both of my boys there with me. I paid it forward to my dad on this trip and it just so happened the next morning my grandpa let me go hunt in his place. So the next morning, Steven set me up in a place where they've been seeing some really nice bucks, and uh, I had the added challenge of trying to self-film my hunt. So it didn't take very long before the fog started to roll in thick again, and the visibility became really poor. And I'm looking over to the left, looking over to the right, and I glanced back over to the left, and there's this big buck standing out in the road, so I have to hurry up and make sure this deer's in frame and creep up and try to make a shot. So thankfully I didn't have to track this deer at all, which is my favorite kind of tracking job. What a fitting way to end the trip. We were all able to make a kill, make lifetime memories, and just share in the moments with my boys. It's a great feeling to be able to give back to those that have always given to you your entire life. This is a trip I'll never forget. You know, it's trips like these that just make it all worthwhile. This was an awesome hunt with Hood and his family, showing how acts of kindness can be very contagious. 
Next time on Southern Veins, we're gonna roll into some doe kills and show the importance of doe management.